I'm Shelly Young, owner of The Chopping Block, and today I'm going to teach you how to make the perfect mashed potato. The first step in making mashed potatoes is selecting your potato. Uh, today I'm going to use a Yukon Gold. Uh, similarly, you can use a red potato. They're going to give you a result that is dense and sweet and creamy. If you like a mashed potato that is more airy and fluffy, you might want to use a russet potato. Those potatoes have a higher starch content and create a fluffier mashed potato, if that's your preference. So I've washed these and the next step is going to be to peel them. We're going to just cut them in half. You don't need to dice them or anything like that. I just want to make sure there's no blemishes on the inside, so it's a good practice to cut them in half. We put them in cold water and the water has been salted with about two tablespoons of salt. So we've got our potatoes on the stove. We're going to turn them on high and we're going to put the lid on and we're going to put the lid on slightly ajar. Uh, I am using a cast iron pot for a specific reason. Uh, this will help to keep the potatoes hot after you cook them, so I really love that practice. If you don't have a cast iron pot, just use whatever heavy duty pot you have. This is a five quart stock pot. We'll put it on high. And once it starts to bubble, I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. So our potatoes have been boiling for about 20 minutes, 25 minutes. I'm going to take a paring knife and see if the knife inserts into the potatoes really easily. The potatoes are done. So our potatoes are cooked and I've drained them. The next step is we're going to take our milk. We're using whole milk just because that's what we use here at the school. You can use 2% or scale milk, that's what you have. And we add our one and a half cups of milk to the pan that we cook the potatoes in. We're gonna warm the milk. That helps to keep the potatoes warm. And we've got our butter, which is about six tablespoons of butter. We're gonna to add to the milk and we're gonna let that dissolve. This is also a great time to add your salt. So I'm gonna start with about two teaspoons of salt. There was some salt in the water we cooked the potatoes in, but it will need to be seasoned additionally. You can see the butter's already melting. As soon as the milk is warm, we'll just see some little bubbles form on the side. The butter is primarily melted. We'll add our potatoes in and mash. Potatoes mashed. Let's see how they taste. Mmm, delicious. And that's how you make mashed potatoes.